Yes. Tonight, we're learning more about the person who was killed outside a Longview Taco Bell Wednesday morning during a robbery. This is Raylene Smithson. Her family tells us she was an assistant manager at that location, working there for many years. She left a lasting impact to both her co-workers and family members, and her daughters say it was a, her life was taken way too soon. Now, police tell us they arrested 31-year-old Brent DeLuca. He's accused of shooting and killing Smithson that morning and is being charged with capital murder. CBS 19's Liana Ayer spoke to Rillian's daughters who say they're honored to have shared her mom with so many others. An angel. Raylene Smithson's daughters, Emily and Dakota Brown, share what their mother meant to them. She's everybody's mother. <laughs> they say Raylene was a motherly figure to so many in the community. There's so many people that we randomly met. Please, talking to mama, calling her mama. For them, it was an honor sharing the love of their mother to so many others. I mean, everybody knew how she felt about us. It didn't matter. It didn't matter what it was. When it came to us, she was gonna be there. She was gonna be there no matter what. She made her home a place where she could help those who needed it. She has a ton of people who she she took in, she helped. They need a place to stay. She was there. Raylene worked as assistant manager at Taco Bell for more than 15 years. And when she wasn't working, she was at home being a loving grandma. Oh, they love. It's and, all about Gigi. Yes, it is. <laughs> they don't want to spend it, the night anywhere else. It's always, do you want to go here or Gigi? Gigi? We can't even finish this in it. <laughs> it's Gigi. <laughs> She enjoyed dancing. You hear music and it's okay. We move in. We <laughs> and Andre like, yeah, yeah. An OU fan and Longview Lobos fan, all while having aspirations of starting a cake business. She made amazing cakes, and she wanted to start a business doing her cakes. Dreams cut too short. Eventually, Raylene was planning on moving to Oklahoma to be closer to her mom. There's one thing their mother instilled in them. We're gonna make it. Like, oh. just be strong, and that's it. <laughs> in Longview, Ayana aired CBS 19. The Longview police tells us they're still investigating a motive in the shooting. DeLuca is currently in the Gregg County Jail. Now, if you'd like to help the family, we do have that link to the GoFundMe on our website, cbs19.tv.